Right here. Oh, gee, thanks. You're welcome. Gregory Hotel. I'd like to talk to uh, Dr. Monica Quarterman, please. You have no idea when she's coming back to the hotel? All right, well, take a message, will you, please? Yeah, a message. All right, ready? Thanks for the cablegram. It is not over. Yeah, underline not. Yeah, yeah, I have more to say. Right. More trouble at home. Return as soon as possible. Sean. Never mind. Yeah. Surprise! A happy one, I hope. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> this is chilled. Yes, and it's dying to be opened. I don't understand. ESP, the message came through the airwaves that uh, you were in dire need of an understanding companion. Actually, it said a lot of other things also, but I think I'll just hold off on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you just going to stand there or what? Uh, no, no, I'm going to the pantry, get some champagne glasses. I'll be right back. <laughs> I should hope so. You, my Swiss friend. So, what else did your ESP or instincts tell you, huh? Uh, well, let me see if I can remember. You know, they uh, may not be right. Well, that's all right. I'm glad you're here. So, your ESP must be working, uh, well, 1,000% by now. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, let's see. Uh, my ESP said that you were in need of maybe a shoulder or a synthetic ear. Yeah, well, uh... I suppose what it really means is that. I'm here for whatever you want. There's a lot of things I want right now. Tell me. I want uh, beauty, laughter, maybe mm. a little man-woman philosophy. Oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but before anything else, I really want this uh, champagne cork to uh, pop. Ah! Well, Mr. Downey, it certainly looks like this is going to be your night. <laughs> okay, I'll tell Jimmy oh. Lee. Hi. Hey, Edward. Bobby. Yeah, it's quite a coincidence. What is? Well, I was just taking a little stroll along the waterfront, and I came across Jake uh, sitting here on the steps of your brownstone. Reminded me that uh, Jimmy Lee was looking for a place to live. <clears throat> uh, shall I make a long story short? I rented Jennifer's old room, Jimmy Lee. Yes, uh, Buzz is moving back to his apartment, so Jimmy Lee had to find another place to live. Mm, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, well, nice to have seen you. How's your day? Very interesting. I had a meeting with Sean Donnelly, particularly interesting after seeing Edward here. He was acting like a nervous cat as well as a cat that swallowed the canary. How come? I haven't figured it out yet, but I will. You know, Sean is a pretty slick dude, but I kind of believe the guy. <laughs> you know, I even got involved with the notorious Cassidines. You know that I like to live at least 50 miles past the danger zone. <laughs> you know, it could have been a disaster for me, Sean. But tell me something. Would you do it all over again just for the excitement? Hmm. Probably. 
<laughs> I adore excitement. <laughs> well, I'm pretty fond of it myself. Fine, Tommy? I think you probably thrive on it. Mm. Tell me, how do you uh, deal with frustration? Oh, now that is the most dangerous thing of all. Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> when I get too frustrated, good judgment goes right out the window. I had to be very wary of frustration when I was with the WSB. You don't have to worry about it now, do you? No, I also have to be very wary of complicating matters. Yeah, well, so do I. You know, when I get uh, restless or bored or frustrated, that's when I like to complicate matters just to kind of stir it all up, you know? <laughs> Same here. Then we are alike. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. The only problem with being alike is that you could get yourself into a lot of trouble. Yeah, but isn't it fun? Oh, it can be. It, um... Could be. You know, I could, uh, be an ingenue and ask you what in the world you're doing, Mr. Donnelly. But I'm not an ingenue. What am I planning to do? You're planning to... Kiss me. Are you planning on objecting? I don't think we should complicate matters. The time is not quite right. <laughs> All right. Well, then we'll have another glass of champagne, and I'll take you home. Get you at Van Tuyen. Oh, no, Sean, hi. Not at all. I uh, got your message. I just hope you're not going to ask me any more questions about Alan's death, that's all. No, I'm not, not at the moment. Good, because I've had just about all of those I can stand, huh? Oh, Sean, I I'm sorry I have to put you through all of that, but until I find out where Alan is or what's happened to him, then I have to follow every lead. All right, I understand the routine. Oh, by the way, I appreciate all you've done to try and clear my name. Who told you that? Captain Lewis also told me I was lucky to have you on my side. I agree. I'm just doing my job. That's all. <laughs> Which brings me to why I asked you here. All right, what's up? I need your help. I am going insane. I'm going round and round in circles, trying to locate Frisco and Felicia. And I thought that like a fresh angle on the whole problem might help. I take it there are no uh, leads on their whereabouts? No, none. No rumors at all. Got anything to work with? Well, yes, actually. I, I have a few things, and I, I, I'd like to fill you in on them. All right, sure. What? It's mainly centering around the ADZ warehouse. Do you know it? I know it, all right. Nothing special about, about it from what I've seen. Well, Frisco happens to think that there is. He's been very interested in some well-guarded shipments that have been delivered there. What sort of shipment? Oh, I, I have no idea. But with that kind of security, they must be valuable, right? Yeah, but there's nothing suspicious about that, Anna. Guarded shipments arrive on the waterfront all the time. Well, Frisco was interested in this particular place. Why? What is it about the ADZ warehouse that attracted his attention? You think there's a connection between that and his sudden disappearance? Yeah. If Felicia was framed, and I happen to believe that she was, then perhaps it was because Frisco was getting close to something, you know, on his investigations in the waterfront. And the question is what? Well, I think, I think the ADC warehouse is the key. We've got to find out what's going on down there. <laughs> 